YouTube, what's up, what's up, what's up, my people? Hey man, you know what it is, back again, another review. So check it out, we have a shoe that's a little bit older, maybe one of the older Jordan ones in my collection. I think it actually is the older Jordan one in my collection. Uh, this is not a very popular shoe, not a very sought after shoe. Uh, truth be told, I didn't initially want it, but I stumbled upon it in the uh, outlet down here at the Vineland uh, Premium Outlet down here in Orlando, Florida, where I live at. Um, going on doing a friends and family uh, event. And I ended up picking this Jordan 1 up for 60 bucks, man. I mean, and I had actually never seen it before. You know what I mean? Um, I had been doing my research. I had been trying to find out what uh, the most popular Jordan 1s were. Of course, you know, the Chicago's and uh, some of the some of the Crimson Tins, the Fragments, all those kind of, you know, different deals. And then uh, this guy popped up on my lap and I said, hey, you know, I'm building the collection. You know, what's one more Jordan 1? So uh, without further ado, I bring to you Jordan 1 Guava Ice. So this actually uh, debuted, man, in a, in a pack. And there's three of these Jordans that came out in three different colorways, the Guava Ice being one of them. Another one is a vintage coral and an olive colorway. Now, the deal with this is that the packs didn't release all in the same region, right? So this one was the one that came here to North America and the vintage coral and the uh, olive came out in the European market. So I haven't actually been able to see those and get my hands on those. Um, but again, like I said, this shoe was super cheap, bro. So actual, actuality, I may at some point try to complete the pack. Uh, I'm gonna put the prices up for StockX on these. Like I said, uh, I got these for 60 bucks. I think StockX has these um, running around 110, maybe, with the olive and the vintage coral going maybe for 40, 50 bucks more than that. But I think overall it'd be cool to have the entire pack. Uh, like I said, they're not too popular. That's not something that's sought after, but just to have the collection, I think it makes sense to have all three. And to be quite honest, the olive, I think is actually a pretty dope colorway. Uh, you'd be hard pressed to match it with a few things. Same with the vintage coral. And, and to be honest, same with this. But I think it's just cool to have, man. Uh, so in this particular one, the difference being that this doesn't have any of that tumbled leather. It's got this smooth leather. It's not entirely uh, the best, but you know, it's passable. And on the toe box here, it has this, this rough, um, felt material well felt's not really not really felt some kind of cloth but you can hear me scratching at it i think uh, so i think maybe it turned a lot of people off but from uh, just a standpoint of looking at it on key i think it's, it's pretty cool uh on the inside here where the felt is normally this color blocking is plain right here it, has, it says nike uh, i think you can see that and not not necessarily reflective but a high gloss white material and that material is white on all three models, if I do believe, even though the color blocking on the other ones are much darker than this one. Now on the inside, it has uh, some kind of Nike trademark. It says something along the lines of Nike and the name, the swoosh are trademarks uh, of Nike and so on and so forth. Um, it's all you know broken up between the different, uh, well, with, between the materials here, but that's what you got in there. I think that was also something that turned a lot of people off. I mean, people will say air on the side for off-white all day, uh, but you know, this kind of words turn them off for some reason. I don't think this is a bad shoe. You're gonna get it on foot. You're gonna be able to judge for yourself. Uh, but you know, the white that's inside the Jordan logo, the white up here, and again, leather, leather tag as opposed to a cloth one. Um, I don't know if a lot of people really are digging this shoe the way it should be, but I think it's underrated at least. Um, it's good, not great, but I think it's, you know, again, I, I repeat myself, I think it's an underrated pickup, man, especially for the price. And since it's an every man's channel, I wanna give people the opportunity to try to buy things that, you know, maybe they can just pick up with spare change or something they have laying around. And this is by far the best bang for your buck, I think. Uh, something like this or the uh, Hyper Royals. I think they're an all blue one that's uh, got a pretty good uh, leather material on it. That's also very inexpensive. 
Um, so this is one of those ones. Like I said, there's two other colorways that you have the option to choose from if you so desire. As usual, this is actually the lace that it came with. This pink lace does match the pink that's on the actual shoe itself. Pretty close. And it also came with this white lace. Now uh, the white lace from my liking, again, always adds contrast. I like the things to stand out just a little bit more than they do. Uh, the coral colored lace does look good in it, you know, no problem with that. But the white lace, I think just looks a little bit better to add some contrast and tie in the lettering. Uh, yep, as always, dirt on the bottom. You know my slogan, rock what you stop. Uh, pretty good shoe. It's actually white on the uh, on the outsoles as opposed to the sale. So Jordan Brand didn't uh, get to the sale portion yet. So this was actually again released in 2018. So 2019 is really the rise of when the sale started coming out. Uh, on the inside here, don't know if you'll be able to tell, but actually wore a dark jean with it and it actually did rub off on the inside. Uh, and that's to be expected, you know, I, I knew better to wear a dark jean with it. But this inside being white, just be aware that that can happen when you wear uh, any kind of dark color that, that'll run. But other than that, I'm pretty satisfied. Scale of one to 10, uh, I think I'd give this about a six, six and a half. Again, good, not great, a little bit above average. Uh, I'll be surprised if the day I find a shoe that's actually below average, a five or less, I'll let you know when I get there. I'm gonna be looking around on GOAT and I'm gonna actually try to find something under $100 in a way of a Jordan 1. Uh, it'll be used and then we'll talk about used shoes uh, going forward. But, uh, and don't be afraid of used shoes, by the way. But again, this was a Nike outlet pickup. Hopefully when the stores reopen, you know, again, we're going through this pandemic. Uh, I fully expect that the, uh, the, the shelves will be stocked, man, with probably some good stuff. Uh, in the meantime, they're taking their Nike outlet and moving it online and uh, making a Nike factory store, actually. So you can find stuff like this uh, on my factory store. But again, I hope this message finds you all doing well. As I always say, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share with your friends, the Every Man's YouTube channel. I am J Shoe Fanatic. Please hit me on Instagram, J underscore Shoe Fanatic. Check me out, stick with me. More stuff coming soon. Thanks a lot, guys.